Alright. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing today? Hello, doing good. That's good. And how did we get to this moment? What happened? Um, I was laying here reading and I looked up and you were like bending down and you were like, hey, excuse me from right. a few yards, maybe like six or seven yards away. Yeah, you know, uh, space, right? Having that respectable space. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. So, it um, wasn't that creepy. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I were to approach you from real close, right? Let's say I were walked up right up on you. Would, would that have been creepy to you? Or kind of weird, kind of odd? Yeah, I don't think it would have been different. The conversation would have been different. I feel like it was very smooth. Very smooth. But had you like walked up on me without notice. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, yeah. back up. I don't know you. <laughs> Chill out, man. Okay, I understand. Um, how often do you try new experiences? I'd like to say whenever I get the chance, but that's probably not true. Hmm. So you could put a number on it. How many times? What? Twice? Once a week? Once a month? Uh, I'd say probably two to three times a month. Okay. All right. This is not just mental. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Okay. When you try new experiences, right? How do you cope with that uncomfort with that weird feeling going through your mind? Mm, it just depends on what it is I'm doing. New situation. Okay. I'm normally pretty relaxed and I enjoy new experiences. So... That's good. I don't know. You know, if I were skydiving, that's different than if I were bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. If I'm jumping out of a plane, I'd probably be just freaking out a little bit. Mm. Maybe I'd remind myself to take some deep breaths. If I'm bungee jumping, like I'm attached to something, I'm not going to be as afraid. So because you're attached to that string, mm -hmm. you're not going to be, okay, okay, okay. I understand. Okay, okay. And would you say you're always present when you're trying to new experiences? I try to be. All right, good, 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 okay. So I want to try a new experience today, okay? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing really, I mean, not having any shoes or socks on is probably the first thing. Okay, where at exactly? What do you mean? Like. Where exactly would you be bare for that? Anywhere. Anywhere. So, okay. Okay, okay. So, I want to talk about something specific, right? I want to talk about being barefoot in nature, okay? How often do you go barefoot in nature? Not very often, but I love to be barefoot, like, around the house or at home. And so, if it was more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? If it was more accepted um i would definitely do it but i haven't i don't think i've ever hiked barefoot more accepted interesting more like accepted by society so do you think so do you think ah see i'm rusty right now do you think that being barefoot outside right here right in this park do you think people will like judge you and stuff like that for being barefoot out here Maybe not as much like out here in the open in this walking area, but uh -huh. like on a trail, people, yeah, I feel like they'd be like, what the fuck? Why is that? Why do you think that <laughs> for? Because nobody hikes barefoot. <laughs> you don't think so? I think no. a couple people hike, well, they, they, they hey, that's their thing. <laughs> that's their thing, right? Okay, okay. I've never seen that, and I go on walks quite a bit. Okay. How about just sitting down barefoot on this cover out here in nature? How often do you do that? I don't come I've not come out a lot this summer mm -hmm. but when I do like I just have socks on because my feet are cold your feet are cold yes but if my if it wasn't chilly I would not have on socks okay maybe a couple times like okay. a year okay how would that feel to you amazing amazing okay what does that do for you personally I just love the natural feeling. I don't know. It makes me feel comfortable. Okay. Just so up. There we go. There we go. There we go. So.
you're outside, right? You're barefoot. How does that feel? Great. Great. Okay, so we do a little bit of toe yoga. Okay. okay. Toe yoga is a way to basically stimulate the nerves in your feet and basically make you feel more lighter at the moment, okay? Wiggle your toes for me. When you breathe out, let your toes loose. Same thing. Get that warm sensation going. All right. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. You should feel a little bit lighter now. How does that feel? Good. Good. Okay. Okay. I got two tools that you can use to basically make yourself feel good and more lighter in the moment. Okay. Do you want to see? Sure. Three. <sighs> and she go with your cement. Now, I ain't trying to tickle you. It's not as ticklish as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Because I am ticklish. How did it feel? Well, now you feel got used to it, right? Yeah. How did exactly. it feel? Exactly. Yeah. It feels good. It feels good. Yeah. Three. So, all I want to do is raking out any negative energy she got going through her foot right now. Do some extra raking. Extra raking? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, all right, go faster. All right, go faster. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, how do you feel about this interview? It was cool. Caught me off guard, but it's cool. Something different, right? Yeah.